This is a day that my father has made. I will rejoice. Yeah, I thank you for this morning. Oh, it's a brand new day. Little bird, they thank you as they sing. So let's all get down and pray. Welcome, 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 teacher and the first fans. It's a pleasure to be back with yours truly and my co-host, Professor. What a go on, Professor? Long time? Long, very long time, you know, but um, folks are back. Um, sorry for the the long layoff, layoff you know, um, but it's unavoidable. You know, life of a live, but we're back. What do you think about uh, the crisis with, with, with airlines? Worldwide. Uh, as someone who have recently been up in the air. Maybe I expert now. <laughs> uh, have you had did you have any issues? <laughs> but fly recently, I'm not expert now. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying. No. Did you have any issues? Because we never we, we never had a conversation. No. I never had an issue whether domestic flights or international flights. Um, nothing worse than before. Uh, the delays, yes. But I found it, found it normal. Uh, my experience was, was normal. Uh, apart from um, some airline not. Was everyone was masked up, right? Yeah, it's still masked up. Yeah. You had no delays at the airport? The delays, I had, my worst one was an hour. And that was a domestic. Okay. Because Sorry. I've been reading of. Mm, go ahead. I've read, well, I've read a lot of, you know, stories of, you know, delays and baggage being somewhere else. And, you know, um, families being split up and put on different flights, including a baby, split up from his family. What? Yeah. I mean, it was rectified eventually. Yeah, but that can't be. That can't uh, That's an individual stupidity. Yes. I mean, common sense will prevail, right? That a child is traveling with, with his parents. Have to be traveling. Why would you split? Split them up, you know? But I'm, you know, I've, I've, I've heard so many people have just change the kids like four times. You know, um, sleeping at airport. You know, um, and what is what 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 do you pick up the cars, the root cars are that? Well, the root, the real root car. Well, one of or the main root cause is um, shortage of airline employees, pilots. Oh, oh, you, you're Jack. Remember now when you said that. Yeah, pilots, ground crew. No, you're Jack. Remember. Yeah. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I <laughs> forgot. You mean I called it up? You forgot. Yeah. I forgot that my re my last flight, return flight to Jamaica. I uh, it was a, it was delayed, and it was delayed for more than an hour. Why did I forget that? <laughs> you know what it caused it? One of the scheduled. Flight attendant was supposed to land, change, and come on my flight. Her flight was the Also, she missed her connecting flight. I don't know, but she, 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 she didn't arrive on time to make my flight leave on time. So they announced after a while that we are waiting on our flight attendant. She Her flight is not yet landed. So as soon as she's landed and processed, you know, so she just leave one thing. So her flight was delayed. It could be a domino effect. Yeah, I mean, because I've read this week that, you know, despite the fact that there might be delays in but all three airports in the New York metro era, era which include, you know, LaGuardia, JFK, and New York, uh, New York, New Jersey Liberty Airport, New Jersey Liberty Airport, or Newark, 
Liberty Airport, um, they are having major delays, right? And it's short staff. And it, and it's short staff. Short staff. Um, so short staff, yes. Um, weather, because we have also really bad weather, you know. But, um, what? Eh? People need work, so short, what causes the short staff? COVID. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that. But there's also um, air traffic control. <laughs> some issue with that, with the, and they may have, called, they, they were also short staff. A lot of people called out sick, right? And so they had no coverage. <laughs> and it took them a while to find replacement. And so there was a domino effect where it affected other, other cities, flights in other cities, even though, you know, uh, the, even, you know, with connecting flights in other cities and all that. So, you know, um, you may have issue, you know, you may have a storm in, in, in Dallas, which affect flights in New York. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yes, there's definitely a domino effect, you know. But short staff, it's all from COVID. People, people a lot of people died. Uh, a lot of people don't want to work for little or nothing. You know, anymore. Eh? Anymore. Anymore. You know, um, I mean, I don't understand the, the, the pilot shortage. I don't understand. But I think the airlines are probably being greedy. In the sense that, okay, we're getting back to pre pandemic numbers. However, you don't have the manpower. So fly less plane. So that, I, I know that's what they are, they, are, they are now doing. They're flying less plane. So by Thanksgiving, all, that, all those issues should, should, should pass. We shouldn't, have, should, we shouldn't have those issues anymore. You know, because you know, there, you know, you know, have all these flights in the air. You don't need all these pilots. You don't need all these ground crews because it's less. Yeah, you're flying less, less um, planes. So that's the fix they have. And so a lot of people get redundant or laid off. And they just can't re engage those people now that the demand is back to almost normal. Yeah, I mean, people are more aggressive nowadays. So when, 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 you're, when you're in a forward facing position, you know, the, the people are really angry and aggressive. And they have all these issues on an on, on airplane. I mean, almost every day. There's an incident on a, on a, on a, on a, a flight in the U.S. Imagine worldwide. Yeah, I heard that one of the Jamaican connection one since this week with the lady who asked us to just see. She was told no because if somebody's coming, that seat she like to say a seat empty for whatever reason she wanted to sit in that seat. I think it would be nearer to somebody, but she probably know. I don't know if a family member. I don't know. She was told no by the, the, the flight attendant. Yeah. And she was told that the person, the seat is booked, right? The person came and took them seat and she engaged the person and the person said, no problem. And they switched. And she called um, the, the authorities to. Marshals. Yeah, Marshall. Said she can't know. She feels threatened. The fact that you move is a threat. The fact and that you feel Mutual agreement is that right? Trick. So, was the flight attendant white or black? She she was asking. The man, okay, that's for you to feel ask, threatened. Normally, because I've seen an incident where a family is on a flight in the U.S. They are speaking their own language. I I get up and says he feel. I think I shared it with you. Said he yeah. feel threatened, <laughs> and they took the people. The family also. I I I. I think it was a Delta. Delta. It's ridiculous. And how is that 
happening? What, the claim is that it's an American airline and only English must be spoken on the American airline. American owned airline. Yes, yes. But America don't have a national carrier like British Airways because you because American national. Airline is not. Yeah, not, yeah. All of them are private, but I've said owned. It's an it's an American base. Delta is American based. So what what is, what's the other passenger saying? If it's American based airline, only English one. No, the, the problem is not that you know. The problem is not the the person feeling threatened. You know. My problem is that the, the the pilot, the flight attendant, and the marshal agreed. That's my yeah exactly. That is and my problem. That reason is ridiculous. Oh. And because the lady changed her seat, you felt threatened? No, because she, she, you, she was told no. The so, real reason is that she was told no. Okay, I'm not a child. Because you tell me no, I... I, 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 I can read me behind my back. I'm not a child. There's no law to say you can't change seat. Because I've been on a flight before. Pay extra for extra room. On a jet blue flight, and when I went, and I and I and I and I chose the, the aisle, and when I went to have a seat, this white lady and her black nurse took up all three seats, and I'm like, I pay for my ticket, I have to pay extra for extra room, and it caused a problem. She would move. Um, so the, 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 the flight attendant found me another seat with extra room and uh, she gave me some free drink and snacks, you know, but I was, and I've seen many times where family traveling together, they have different seat assignments, you know, the flight attendant or even a person will ask the other person, do you mind? They don't go to the, um, the, the flight attendant. They made their even themselves, and no one feels threatened or. I think the city may have been white, man. Flight attendant. I don't know. I, I just feel that way. Yeah, it's 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 it, it's it's not the the, the passengers I have issues with. It's the but, uh, that is aiding and betting this type of movement. Cause it's a movement. That people can just feel threatened and can't justify the threat. threat. And people support it. You go along with it. It's the people not off the plane as if they're terrorists. Hey. <laughs> the man so, is crying. Cry. The man is crying. And, and I said, say, I just, I, we just communicate in our language and she, she doesn't even know what language. She just knows it's not English. And the sad part about it is that we are a country, we are a melting pot. We are melting fucking. But well, you know that people go. Hundreds of language spoken here. People go. People go in store like a Walmart. Say a Florida, we have so much Hispanic, and a lot of Cuban, and go into a Walmart and hear them speaking Spanish to to the, to each other. I'm, I have a problem with it. No, no, I, I've seen it speak English. God damn it. Uh, I I saw I saw a video the other day. I don't know if it's real. I think I shared it with you. This man was lighting up on the plane. No. I was like, is this is this real or is this? I mean, it looked real because the flight attendant who approached him looked properly. I don't know. It just looked real. I was like. This guy must be mental. To be, it, what is it, the 1970s, 80s? A lot of things have come back. Some crazy. A lot of places that we think we surface and put behind us have made a circle back right into our faces. Yeah, but why, why, why are people so angry now? 
what's causing it? Is it, uh, is it being knocked down? No, depression? Yeah. Depression? Yeah. The, 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 the COVID, and with COVID, keep a lot of... Um, All these restrictions? No, the restrictions, yeah. But along with that, the, 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 the social media. Yeah. And, and social media allow people to speak their mind. And in speaking their mind, uh, freedom of speech was expanded. A lot yeah, of. Not just freedom of speech, people are uh, overly aggressive. A lot of theories thrown out there, and people just distrust, this big distrust. And. You, you, you're restricted and you feel threatened because you feel that somebody's out to kill you. And it's, it's just a one big mess. I mean, a, a lot of people in the service industry, which is why there's such a, a huge shortage, is because people no longer want to serve people because people are so angry. They're, they are ready to attack you. I've seen so many videos. I saw a video that day. Um, some girls, girls, women, female, late night, probably about two o'clock, at this um, spot in the village in New York, and it's a French fry specialty, you know, fries. And um, they ordered the food. There was a like three or four girls, but there are other people in them. They ordered the food. They wanted sauce, extra sauce. Yeah. We're told extra sauce is like maybe a dollar, something like that. And they proceed to trash the place. I'm, trash I'm it. I saw that one. And assault the workers. Yeah, I saw that one. I'm going to tell you something. When I watched it, what came to my mind, a lot of people, it's like the saying that money don't change people. Money does give the freedom to be what you want to be. Eh. A lot of them are like that. But now the mark operate under the COVID and the post-COVID trauma. But a lot of them are the same ones that outside of camera used to argue with, 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 with people. But now it does allow them to just free up themselves and watch everybody spend up in them, them start acting out. But these uh, decent people becomes thugs and rogues and no. So society is breaking down then. I mean, you're going to go to, and they were all caught. So you're going to go to prison for uh, uh, extra no, sauce. And you can't do without the sauce. Extra sauce. That's it. And you know that the people in front of you didn't make the rules. You know that. So, thousands of dollars of damage for sauce. Minimum, That's a piece of sauce. Minimum wage people trying to keep them job, trying to, 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 to feed them family. And you assault them over a rich guy place the rich guy's not even there, and you trash the place, I start the, and, and then you get charged, and you're going to find and do some time. It was senseless, but the character was always in them. There's nothing trigger in all the people you see. The, 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 it's just what within them. But I eight people and bad mind people from a long time. But you think, you think social media might be contributing to it because they're seeing these things themselves. And, and, the, and the copycat thing, yeah. Yeah, and 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 and, and they feel the need to, to act out I, I, as well. I, I, read the comments. You know, a good thing to do. Read the comments then on social media. Okay, so I, I have to tell you something. Don't be mad at me. But I have very little patience for hood rats. I am. Very little patience for people who are ignorant. I shouldn't be saying this. I shouldn't be saying this. But I, so I don't, so I choose not to read comments on certain videos unless it's funny. No, I read it specifically to get at the gauge of how many people are going to see it one way versus another? And you surprised to see how much people endorse the garbage. That's what angers me. Just I don't read it. Oh, you so mean? People are brain dead. 
If I didn't mean them to get worse than that, them lucky at us, trash. I'm just saying, how oh. so much people, yeah, man, social media. Who do you think this is okay? How can you see a man go into a jewelry store, smash and grab, and endorse what he's doing? It's robbery. Society is breaking down. Society has broken down. Our society has broken down. COVID has taken us down. No, COVID has not taken us. COVID does. No, does, COVID does highlight the problem. COVID does bring highlight, it. Up. Highlight, yeah, just highlight what was no. there. Yeah. Much of what COVID did. You have always the mother and the father that hides that child that they know steal and kill. Right? Mm. Oh, that type of mentality among us. And outside of hiding the child, you know, on the road, they're the most decent person. You know. Your child will back answer you from the road, you know, and then take your hand, you know. Mm-hmm. But they might hide it and I wash the blood. Yeah. So it's this type of mentality that is coming up to the surface now because they feel a freedom of doing these things. There's, a, there's something going through the ear that be what you want to be, do what you want to do. It's okay. It's okay. okay. It's, it's... Remember now, we are in an era now we have to queue for each other. Social media laws to see everything. The world smart. We are talking about globalization. Globalization is that moment. In the 90s, we hear that word. Mm-hmm. 90s. Global, a global market. Global market. Um, the, the world, a small world. Uh, social media is made of... No, 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 social media make a football into a... a Golf? Golf. <laughs> Right? So the world is now a golf ball. Where in the 90s it was a soccer ball. So everybody I see it, everybody I say, what? And everybody has been uh, empowered to do what is within them. Right, everybody sees a ball. I'm not change. 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 So there's no evolution then. Yeah. Just emboldened to just emboldened to those. To do what you think. Don't just don't sit down there and think it. Do what you think. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos. And don't forget to comment and hit that notification bell. This has been another episode of Teach and the Prophet.